I'm gonna miss these guys. It's been one year. Isolated dry ponds. Come in here for a close. Actually, just under a year ago, 295 days ago to be specific, we found three newly hatched cooter turtles in a small creek in Gainesville. I wanted to conduct an experiment to illustrate the growth rate of these adorable creatures in order to better understand the struggle that this species as well as many other similar species must face in their first year. One specimen was given to another person with a slightly larger aquarium in a natural pond. This is how that first video ended. Turtles have been around since the time of dinosaurs. They have adapted many different lifestyles and through the process of natural selection, Basically, survival of the fittest, the turtles with the adaptations that were best suited to their circumstances survived, and those adaptations stuck. With turtles, the most notable adaptation being a shell, but other totally unrelated species have adapted similar modifications. Take for instance the armadillo. Evolutionarily speaking, totally different by every means, and yet they have adapted a shell of sorts. Okay, that's all I got for similarities to turtles. Am I not turtly enough for the turtle club? Creatures are molded by their life circumstances. Turtles can be both aquatic and terrestrial, which ties turtles into every other creature on this planet. Turtles like armadillos are not by any means on top of the food chain, especially just after hatching or birth. Well, hatching, let's stick to the turtles. Sea turtles are actually pretty far down the list of what's to be considered as predators. Actually, river cooters are kind of bad hunters. They will eat live prey such as minnows, worms, or invertebrates. And they're even known to scavenge dead fish carcasses. I mean, that in itself is a testament to the toughness of the species. River cooters and similar species primarily feed on vegetation, such as duckweed and many other common aquatic plants. Cooter turtles have even adapted a taste for some invasives like water ice. Cooter turtles are not protected or endangered. It's the only reason I was willing to even conduct this experiment. But this is what Google says about their conservation status. The river cooter is faced with loss of habitat. Predation by animals, slaughter on the highways, and used as a food source by some people. What's left of the creek that we found those baby turtles in, you can see it's completely dried up. Hatchlings are particularly vulnerable. During their overland scramble to the river, many hatchlings will be taken by avian and mammal predators. Alligators and muskrats wait for them in the water. Some will be taken and sold in pet stores. Populations are down in some areas, and there have been increasing reports of injured turtles. But this species as a whole is hardy and continues to thrive. This species can live for 40 years or more. It's gonna be their new home right here. This is the Santa Fe River. There's so much wildlife here, oh my gosh. I mean, everywhere. There are so many birds and everything. This is a beautiful place. Now I brought them to this part of the Santa Fe River because it was shallower. Water's pretty low right now, so the current's moving pretty slow and uh, lots of natural food sources for these turtles. The public dock area, but it doesn't see much activity, you can tell. Matter of fact, it looks like nobody's been here in a while. This place is pretty quiet right now. I don't see many people at all here. This looks like the ideal spot for these little turtles because it's shallow and there's logs that they can bask on right there. Y'all, I've been sitting here for over a minute and uh, I don't want to disturb them. I'll let them figure their own way out. That is the best I can do for them. I gave them a year of solid nourishment. They're big enough now where they're not the smallest thing on the food chain anymore. And they should have a, a good chance at surviving and becoming a breeding specimen, both of them. And uh, hopefully for them, this is gonna be the best uh, thing that could have happened for them. And uh, hopefully it is, and I worry, but you know, that's just me being a parent. And uh, hopefully it's gonna work out great for them. So this is their new home. A never ending Santa Fe River. Y'all, thank you so much. But no two turtles are identical. 